Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you all of my daily essentials and I have so much stuff in front of me. These essential items are not just my favorite items but they are things that I just use without even having a second thought about it. It's not things that I specially use. They are so basic that yeah, it doesn't even cross my mind that I actually really find these items to be my essential items every single day. So I have in front of me some skincare, some makeup, we've got some home items, we've got some jewelry, food, we of course have luxury and yeah we have quite an array of items to talk about. So anyway if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Kat. I love to do videos about luxury handbags in particular. I love skincare and makeup as well so if you enjoyed that kind of video I hope you subscribe and for everyone else let's get started. Let's start with some home items first. As you can see, I have a diffuser behind me. I have two diffusers in my house right now because one of my daily essentials is making the house smell really good and that's essential oil. So this is just one of several fragrances that I have. This is eucalyptus. At the top there, I don't think you can see, I have ginger, I also have frankincense. Um, lemongrass, one of my favorites. I have sandalwood, cedarwood. I have just been really, really obsessed with fragrance and smells lately. I also mentioned in my favorites video that these kind of fragrances have helped elevate a bit of stress for me, you know, make me feel really calm, relaxed, and I just feel so at peace. So I have been really, really finding that fragrance like this kind of essential oils and diffusers or for aroma or just kind of humidifiers have been a I would even say godsend for me at the moment I know that's like a big term but they really really have been something that I put on every single night before I sleep I'll just turn it on let it run for maybe an hour just to give the room the scent and it relaxes me and I just go to sleep so Definitely an essential. This is just one little small one from Mount Sapola. And I also mentioned that sometimes when I am quite lazy, because I usually just turn on the diffuser at the night time, but in the mornings, because when I wake up, then there's no smell and I just maybe need a bit of like a kick in the morning, then I would use one of these room sprays and this is the smell lavender. But I do like eucalyptus. I have a couple of them hiding behind the Sephora bag. This is an instant smell. You just spray it around the house and it just gives the air an instant kick of essential oil. And the daily or nightly essential for me is my silk pillowcase. This silk pillowcase has appeared on my channel several times. It is pretty famous by now. <laughs> this is from Lily Silk and no, this video is not sponsored but I cannot sleep on normal pillowcases anymore. Not because I am so up there and so like, oh my gosh, I cannot. But really, this has been a luxury for me when I go to bed. Like when I put my head on this pillow, the silkiness of this material makes, makes the sleep just seem so much better. And you know, silk is also really good for my hair. I do find that in the morning, my hair doesn't break. Like I don't see strands of hair on my pillow, which normally I do at night. Because all these years I've been just sleeping on whatever, like whatever pillowcases my mom passed to me from, I don't know, from where or when we got married, you know, those really cheapo pillowcases. It never even crossed my mind. But then of course, when I started to buy Lily Silk before even Lily Silk contacted me, I bought so much during last year's Black Friday sale. I bought it for my entire family because when I put my head on this, oh man, it's it's life-changing, okay? <laughs> anyway, you need to try it for yourself. Um, you don't have to buy Lily Silk. You can buy so many other brands. I have discount codes if you want to use it, but you know, I don't get any commission for it. But yeah, it's it's the real deal, okay? It's the real deal. So definitely a daily essential for me. You know what, I'm gonna put this in home care as well, even though it's not really skincare, it's all like hair care, but people, Dyson. I know if you are in America or in Canada, I think they are having the Sephora sale right now. So if you have not invested in a Dyson hair dryer, what are you doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> like you need this if you have long hair like my hair has grown so much over the years like you saw me well no if you've been following me for a while you ha i had long hair and then i had short hair for my friend and then i've started to grow it out again and now that it's at this length gosh it takes quite a while to dry i don't have a lot of hair you know because i am also you know my hair is thinning even so when the hair is a little longer it does take a bit of time for my hair especially the inside to dry this this is amazing like when i got this a couple of years ago maybe three years ago already i cannot use any other hair dryer like i am that bougie right now <laughs> i just feel every other hair dryer takes for ever to dry my hair i'm just standing there and the hair dryer is so loud it's like Burr! but the air that's coming out from the hair dryer is like like this and it doesn't do anything but this dyson hair dryer it blows out my hair like it's i'm having a typhoon or a tsunami in my hair but it's so quick and i don't even need to use like the hottest setting i use the lightest the least hot, the least hot, the the least hot, is that the right one? The le least hot? <laughs> the normal, the non-heated, whatever, okay, whatever, just tell me what the word is. <laughs> the setting number one, which means it's not hot, and my hair dries so quickly, it's because of the amount of, you know, wind there's coming out from this hair dryer. So anyway, if you don't have a Dyson, I think this will really, really change your hair life after you get it. So definitely a daily essential, especially I wash my hair every single day. Sticking with hair care and I have the Kavila Hair Tonic designed specifically for advanced thinning hair. And I also have the Karatas. This is the Skull Intense Care Massage. This is daily. This is, I would say, monthly. Now, I actually interchange using this. Before I had the Kavila, I was using the Karatas every, I would say, once a week just to give my scalp a bit of like a revival because I have very, very easily in irritated scalp. And I feel like that's because I shampoo my hair every day and, you know, with the gym and all that. So I always get red scaly patches along my hair and I believe that is also causing the thinning of my hair. This Kavila hair tonic, I find that it sort of calms my scalp down. I don't really know if it's increasing any hair growth, but because my scalp is so easily inflamed and irritated, I do use this almost on a daily and I put, you know, just a few drops of where I find, you know, I, f I feel like that's going to be a problematic area. So before it comes problematic, then I would use this before that happens. And just before the time of the month, like maybe a few days before, my scalp and my whole body just starts to, I would say, break down. I just get so irritated, I'm emotional, my scalp is extra oily, everything is just not in, not in a good shape then even if I use this, my scalp still gets really, really inflamed. Like if I don't do anything, it's just starting to get inflamed. So that time, I will whip out my Karatas because this does contain a little bit of, I think it does have alcohol in it, but because it has this cooling, almost calming element to it, my scalp appreciates it because, yeah, like that time of the month, just before, like a few days before, everything just doesn't, work i need a little bit more of a chemical boost so i put this just one and i would use it on the spots and my my scalp just goes like ah, relaxed and then it's fine you know it's fine so it doesn't continue to be you know having its own heartbeat and just really really make me suffer so these are a combination of what i use every single month and i do find that it's you know it's keeping my scalp in check but you know, there are some days that I, it just nothing will work. But you know, in, when, whenever I can, you know, this is a daily essential for me. Moving on to skincare. Every morning, I wash my face with the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. This has a salicylic acid. I think it's 2%, yeah, 2% salicylic acid. And I only use this in the morning and I specifically wash like, you know, my pores here because I do get very oily here with blackheads and pores and everything, you know, it's just, 
not the best but now I have incorporated this which I recently got and I've already used quite a bit because I've been using this every night now or do I use this in the morning? Well, I don't really use this in the morning. I take my makeup off uh, with this and I also, yeah, when I, before I go to sleep, I use this. This is the Purity 3-in-1 Cleanser for Face and Eyes. I find this more gentle with the Neutrogena but I find that the Neutrogena has that salicylic acid uh, which I need because I have a combination uh, dehydrated skin. This is what I use to wash my face every single day and once I, whether it's the morning or night, I will immediately splash a bit of essence on my face. So I have two currently but the one that's closest to my heart is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I finished my big bottle, then I decided, you know, I want to try something different, like, you know, switch it up a little bit, and I tried the um, Estee Lauder Micro Essence. Very similar, this is a Skin Activating Treatment Lotion Fresh with Sakura Ferments. To me, both of them are pretty similar. Both give my skin a instant rebalancing feeling right after I wash my face. It's very different from a toner because when a toner, I still feel that my skin feels dry. But once I wash my face, I don't use a toner, I just slap this on my face and I can almost feel my skin say, ah, to me. So both of them are the same. Um, I do still prefer the SK2 but you know, when I feel like maybe my skin is kind of like bored with SA2. I do like the Estee Lauder, um, what is it called? Micro Essence. Moisturizer for me is a daily essential. But because I am sort of just going between a few moisturizers, I didn't want to include that in because none of them are, I would say, my ultimate at the moment. I have one moisturizer in that Sephora bag which I'm going to test out for a while and then I'm going to like sort of like settle into a daily essential moisturizer. So what I have been using kind of like almost every, yeah I think every day. Have I been using this? Yeah I have been using this every day as a sometimes a replacement for moisturizer or sometimes on top of my moisturizer or almost like a on top of my moisturizer as a sunblock and that is my Shantakai Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. This has been surprisingly amazing. I am using it today. In fact, this whole look, I just did a video, so that'll be going up. I don't know which video got first. If that video has gone up, I'll link it up here. But otherwise, you know, this whole look, I have the Shantakai as my moisturizer and my foundation with a bit of powder. And, you know, through the camera, I look as if I have a really, really flawless canvas on my face. This tinted moisturizer feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't feel like there's something sitting on my skin. I feel like my skin is breathing and I still have a little bit of a tint. So this has been a daily essential and I seriously foresee myself repurchasing this once I have finished. This whole section here, I don't think the camera is picking up but it's entirely like dip because I've been pressing it like this to bring a little bit out. Wow. I really recommend this Shantakai. Another daily essential for me is hair accessories and I've mentioned this in my video before but I have these Evita Pironi I don't know if you can see that these are Evita Pironi uh, hair bands but you can see they have these teeth now look at the size of this this is the size of my head and this is how when you first buy it it comes like that but after I wear it and use it they start to expand because I have such a big head so let me just wear it now but basically it just lifts up all the hair it is so comfortable, it is so flexible and well I have had a couple of them snap because they're old and I've been just doing this but this is one of the most comfortable hair bands ever. It doesn't dig into the corners of my head, you know, it doesn't fold in even though it looks like it's folding in but after wearing it for like a day or maybe half a day, it will slowly expand so this is a pink color one. If you have long hair, you have long fringe, this Oh, life changing. <laughs> I love this. I have several of them all lying around the house because Evita Peroni has, I don't know whether they have rebranded, but the ones that I got now, the name is Oyone. Anyway, I, if I can find them, I will link them down below. But if you're in Singapore, you can get these from Takashimaya. They're always sold out, okay? Always. So whenever I go, I sometimes just go there and like, can I 
grab a couple of them because I always am so worried if I lose it or I spoil it because I, like I said, I don't like my hair in front of my face. Now, the other thing for hair accessories are these silk scrunchies. So I have two brands. I have the slip scrunchies which you can get in a box. I have several of them all lying around the house. And this one is one that I got from one of my purchases with Lily Silk. I think it was a Black Friday. So it came in a few sizes. You know, to me, it doesn't matter what kind of brand. It doesn't have to be slip. It doesn't matter Lily Silk. It can be a silk scrunchie. But I have been tying my hair with silk scrunchies and they're so easy to take out. They just literally just pull off the hair. Pull, no, they don't pull off the hair, but they come off the hair easily. They don't, you know, make any kind of kinks, like really bad kinks as compared to a rubber band. So I have a lot of rubber bands, but right now I just, I just love, love these slip, I mean, these silk scrunchies. This hair accessory are these um, butterfly clips. I have several of them all around the house. Basically, I just like to clip my hair a little bit at the back and just leave it like this so when i don't want to tie my hair up i just want to have like a half tie i don't want to use my hairband because it'll leave a kink i grab one of these butterfly clips and i just clip my hair back so that it just feels a little neater so another daily essential i absolutely need more of these in the house because i always seem to be losing them <laughs> one food item and this is a daily essential my vital proteins collagen peptides again i mentioned this in the current favorites i drink this every single day. There are days, honestly, I forget or I wake up late or I'm just too lazy to walk into the kitchen to make a drink for myself. But as much as I can, I would say this is a 90% daily essential. Take this two scoops of this every morning or whenever I remember. It's just like milk powder has a little scoop. I take two scoops and I just down it. The first time you drink collagen, you need to get used to the taste. But after a while, it doesn't really bother me anymore. I haven't been the most strict with my skincare routine, but I find that my skin is holding up a little better than what I would imagined. You know, there are days that I just cannot be bothered with my moisturizer. All I do is just splash a bit of essence on my face. But every morning, because I feel like I've been taking this, I, f I feel like my skin is still still got a bit of it's like it's still got a bit of a barrier or something i don't know what it is i feel like this is the reason collagen has been something it's doing something it's either it's maintaining my skin my hair or something but yeah daily essential taking it every single day and I think for the foreseeable future. Let's move on to luxury. I don't really want to mention my stack or my earrings because that's sort of like a part of me. I just don't even think of it anymore. But something that I have been incorporating every day, especially when I can remember, is either a necklace or a ring. So right now, of course, for filming, I am wearing both of it. But something to kind of spice up my day or make me feel like I'm done something for myself because I am still working from home um, some portion of the week so when I'm at home I tend to really let loose and you know it has been a year of just letting loose since last year it is getting to me I just feel like such a slob at home I feel not the best so one of the things on top of like the perfumes and all of that that I do is to put on a little bit of something so Today I'm wearing my Chanel rings and I've got two of them. I've got the white gold, the mini, and I have the small. The other two rings that I have been, you know, just rotating. I don't wear too many because, I don't know, maybe it's just a bit too much. Uh, is this Emily Jewel, uh, Emily, Emily Design. This is from Tokyo. Stunning, stunning uh, ring with diamonds. I have also this Justin Clue ring which has diamonds on its nail head. I have been just wearing it, just one ring the whole day and I just change out whichever I feel like but these are the few rings that I've been using a lot then when days that I don't feel like wearing a ring maybe I'm washing stuff you know a lot more cooking then I'll wear a necklace and not sponsored okay but I have been absolutely wear just rotating between this um, puff heart necklace from uh, Anna Luisa this was sent to me like two years ago? Wait, no. Was it two years ago? Maybe a year and a half ago. 
when I was when I was still working with them as a you know brand ambassador. That time they sent you know they sent me so many beautiful pieces and I really really love this. But these are the two that I continue to wear. I think you've seen in my videos even when I'm not talking about them. But this necklace, this is the Yusuf necklace. This puff heart one, it has a paper clip kind of chain, so smooth and just oh my gosh, I love it. I'm not a heart kind of person, but I don't know, there's something about the puffiness of this heart. So I just love to layer that. And I also have this is uh, a new necklace that I got from Amado Beloved, another like paper clip chain kind of necklace. Then I, yeah, I'm just like interchanging my necklaces, you know, just to feel a little like something something on my neck, in addition to obviously my stack. But yeah, fingers, you know, when I can just look at my fingers and I just see a little something, I feel a little something, I feel something on my neck. Yeah, those have been a daily essential for me. And finally, my handbag. I think all of you are going to be so surprised, but this handbag is my daily essential. This is the Longchamp crossbody bag. I use this every single day, every time I go out. This is the bag I carry because it just has a zip at the back. I've got my stuff inside. Why I find this little bag to be so handy is because it has a little front compartment here. It doesn't really look like much, but there's a button closure here and a little slip pocket. And I keep my bus card or my train card or what we call a Nets card here for me to easily access every time I take the MRT or the train or the bus or whatever I need that card for. And I don't even have to open the back pocket. So this, wow, has been so, so convenient. It's lambskin, it's made in France. Of course, um, it's very dirty right now. It used to be like a powder, powder pink, but I can definitely see wear and tear because I don't baby this bag at all. I just really, really put it through the ringer. I just use it. And at this price point and amount I've used this, wow, definitely cost per wear is amazing. So this is my daily essential luxury bag. I have not been carrying any other bag, not even my uh, Lock Me BB much. I just, I just haven't. So that's the, you know, that's the real truth. I think it's also because I haven't, you know, started my gear to go out more and also I haven't really started my gear to be at the office more often but do foresee that I will be starting the engine soon so you will be seeing me talk about my lock me baby a lot more but now my daily essential is my little amazing Longchamp crossbody bag but anyway those are all my daily essential items I will leave the links to everything that I can find in the description section down below so that you can easily check it out otherwise if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell as well well. Anyway, everybody, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!